हे वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन गाइज तन माई यूर फॉर तेलुस्को लर्निंग्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल अंडर जा स्क्रिप्ट फॉर बिगनर्स स्पेशली द जे क्वेरी पार्ट एंड दिस इज सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक द पार्ट टू अंडर जे क्वेरी डॉम मैनुपलेशन दट वी बीन गोइंग थ्रू एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी सॉ फोर डिफरेंट जे क्वेरी इनबिल्ड मेथड्स विच वर एनेबलिंग अस टू परफॉर्म डॉम मैनुपलेशन सो द फर्स्ट वन वॉज द टेक्सट मेथड विच वॉज एनेबलिंग अस टू चेंज द टेक्सट और रिट्रीव द टेक्सट फ्रॉम द पैराग्राफ और एनी अदर एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट विच हैज सम टेक्सट then the html method worked in the same way with the minor difference that it also returned the entire html elements if the text had any html elements in it and the last two were the attribute and css method and in the attribute and css method i missed out on how you can change the attribute and how you can change the css so we retrieved the value that is we got the value of particular attribute or a particular css style but i did not mention how to set or change that value so here i'll just quickly do that so sort of like a part 2 of that video since that part was missed out so let's start off with the coding i hope you watched the previous video so we have two buttons with two different button ids set value and get value over here we have a division we have a paragraph with their respective ids and classes and here what we'll do is first we'll just alert attribute of this paragraph so let me just quickly write the code i'm going to say alert inside the alert box okay so this has to happen on the click method okay so the click method of the button right so let's do that on get a value so i'm going to say dollar opening and closing hash ptn2 so this is the selector so we are using the id selector to select the button whose id is ptn2 and we are going to say click inside this i'm going to create an anonymous function here i'm going to say alert and in the alert i'm again going to select the paragraph with the id p1 okay so that's the id of this paragraph i'm going to say dot attr and the attribute that you are looking for is the name of the class okay so this is the name of the attribute that is class and the value of that attribute class is p1 class right so that's what we are trying to fetch over here and if i click on get value you can see we get p1 class so this is something that we saw but i did not show you how to change this right so in order to change this let me just comment this out we have to use the same syntax you have to select the paragraph you have to call the attribute but now what you want to do is you want to add a comma and add one more argument which is going to be the value okay so i'm going to say p2 class okay so this is the value of the attribute named class so this is name and this is value so this is sort of like a name value pair similarly here what you are doing is we are saying change the attribute value to p2 class and the name of that attribute is going to be class okay so if i click on this and let's do this on set value okay so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to replace the btn2 to btn1 so let's click on set value and let me just comment this over here and uncomment this so on set we are changing the value so if i click on it let's see the value has changed or not it has to be p2 class now so let's click on get value and there you go now the value has changed right so this is how you can also change the value using the attribute method or attr method which we did not cover in the first part now similar to this we can also go around and work around with the css method so let's see how the css method works so i'm going to just copy this entire line paste it over here i'm going to call the css method because we have selected the same paragraph and what we want is the font name okay or its font family right so let's click on get value and you can see the font family is times new roman now you can change this by again the same syntax so let's go to btn1 let's copy this entire thing let's paste it over here let's change the attr to css and now we will change the font family or in fact let's change the font size for simplicity let's do it to 25 pixel okay and here what we'll do is we'll retrieve that same thing i'm going to say font size and let's see if this works so if i click on set value you can see immediately the size of the paragraph text has increased to 25 pixel and if i see and if i want to confirm it if i click on get value there you go you can see 25 pixel so this was the two things that was left out i showed how to fetch the values using the attr and css but not how to actually set values so we did the set value over here in this video 
So this completes the four methods. In the next video, we'll perform some more DOM manipulations. So these DOM manipulations were working on the text inside the different HTML elements, right? So this can be applied to some other elements also who has some text inside. So it can work with anchor tag, it can work with division. Right now we were just manipulating everything for a particular paragraph, right? So this can pretty much work for divisions also, can work for anchor tags and anything which has some text inside. So what if you want to actually manipulate the entire element itself? So for that we have some other functions and other methods. So that we'll see in the next video. So that's it for this video guys. Let me know in the comments how this video was. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.